Patient's a white male, 30 to 35 years old, 185 pounds, unresponsive. Pupils. Dilated, no response, painful stimuli. Vitals. Breathing is irregular. He needs to be on a ventilator, stat. BP 112 over 70 and stabilizing, pulse 50, temperature 96.2. Lungs. Clear to auscultation and no cyanosis or edema. Any ID? Couldn't find any. The guy was in his pajamas in the middle of the park. Oh, great. We got ourselves a John Doe in a coma. Nurse Friedman. Abby! Stop daydreaming. Give me a hand. What? We need to move his bed. Uh, Ready? I'm sorry, I... I'll get started on the paperwork. You take him to ICU. Stop daydreaming, Abby. You're wasting your life, Abby. Wake up, Abby. God, what does she know? How about... Oh, hey, Abby. How'd it go last night with Peter? Which Peter, the one who lied to me about his gambling addiction or the one cheating with Barbara down at X-Ray? Really? You poor thing. Well, hey, why don't you go take the rest of the day off and go buy shoes or whatever it is you gorgeous women do with your free time? Yeah, right. So, what's up with you, Mr. John Doe? <laughs> cheated on anybody lately? Got any plans for this evening? I don't. How about we hang out for a little while? You having fun? Excuse me, hello? Anybody? You're wasting your time, buddy. Anybody? Hello? I'm telling you, Excuse there's no one. Excuse me? Nurse? Shut the hell up. I really need some information. Shut the hell down. I need a nurse. Yes. Get the hell off. I'm looking for a surgeon. Chill the hell out. This is a curse. Sit the hell down. Can someone help me? Get the hell out of here. How about you? Listen to anyone around here. Listen, amigo, we're all here waiting for a nurse. Why don't you be a darling and take a seat with the rest of us, nice people? Sit, Sit the hell down. Hey, buddy. Don't you listen to him. He's edgy. We've been here for a while already. The uncertainty makes him crazy. Hey, buddy. Is your patient a man or a lady? Would you say that's a big or heavy? Are they usually sick or healthy? Hey, buddy. Can't you answer a sin? Really? You don't say! 
Hey guys, we got us another whack job in here. Man, you thought I was the only one. What do you mean, whack job? We all have issues. Just leave us alone. What do you mean? What I mean is, we're all in the dark, and there's no one at the nurse's station who can answer any of our goddamn questions. Hey, mister, you will refrain from raising your voice. This is a hospital, and there are rules. And you'll refrain from being such a dick. What's going on? Day. What? I just got home myself. Traffic was a mess. I think you have me confused with somebody oh, hey, else. Hey, listen, I need you to go to the store and buy some milk. I'm making the cake from your mom's <laughs> recipe, and I need whole instead of 2%. Uh, but I don't uh, even bother, buddy. She's the worst one here. <laughs> How could she be worse than him? <laughs> Nurse! Nurse! Good evening, everyone. <sighs> Finally. Doctor, listen. I'm trying to find a certain patient, but I'm not really sure. Please, have a seat. I will try to explain the situation. The patient was brought in some time ago, unresponsive in what appears to be a deep coma. Cause unknown. Coma? Technically, it's not a coma. I have good news, however. The patient is suffering from locked-in syndrome. Locked-in syndrome? <sighs> I've never heard of it, and I've been in a few hospitals in my lifetime. And this is a condition in which the patient is aware and awake, but cannot move or communicate verbally due to complete paralysis of all voluntary muscles, thus giving the appearance of being unconscious. Excuse me, doctor. Now, I have no medical training, but how is being awake without being able to move good news? Well, it's better than having amnesia. Well, it's a good thing he doesn't have amnesia, right? <laughs> oh, come on, he has amnesia? Severe. <gasps> amnesia? Are you saying he has no memory? Correct! He has no recollection whatsoever of his entire life! So, that's the bad news. No oh, shit, Sherlock. Hey, objection. If he's unconscious... He's and not he unconscious. He appears to be unconscious. Withdrawn. If he appears to be unconscious and he can't communicate, how can you tell that he can't remember anything? Do you read minds? Yeah, how would you know? Are you questioning my expertise? No, we are questioning your ridiculous diagnosis. Yes, your ridiculous diagnosis. Are you messing with us, doctor? Because I can spot a fraud a mile away. You're such a fraud. No, of course not. You don't even look like a real doctor. You don't even look like a real doctor. Guys, I'm sure he has a good explanation. By the way, I don't think we caught your name. Yeah, what's your name? My name? My name is... <laughs> Dr. Pashant. Uh, Dr. what? Uh, Pashant. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> your name is Dr. Patient? Oh, uh, no, it's Pashant. It's Bulgarian. My ass is Bulgarian. It looks nothing like you. What's your real name? Guys, 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 take it easy. Take it easy. That is my name. What is yours? What? Your name. Why do you need my name? Your name, officer. It's Officer Henry Payne. What about you, sir? What? You don't recognize me from my TV ads? I'm Thornton Gregory Sickley, Esquire, the third. Never heard of you. And what about you, miss? Uh, uh, Okie doke, bye bye. <laughs> and you? Uh, Avery Joe Frail, but people just call me Joe. 
interesting. What? Well, don't you see it? Patient, pain, sickly, frail, it's all related. Why are we related? Oh, why don't I slice your throat just for suggesting that, you numb nuts? Doctor, you care to explain to these fools? Certainly. My current operational theory is, well, how do I put this mildly? That we are not all entirely real. Wait, are you saying that we're all inside whoa, the Whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Permission to approach? We all can agree this is a bad situation. You want us to believe some crazy explanation. You're gonna have to show us some convincing proof. Cause some of us here ain't the sharpest of tools. I heard that. And the patient suffered a brain event in the basilar artery that resulted Stop. in Stop. Try again. In <coughs> English, <coughs> please. The patient has something called locked-in syndrome. Imagine not being able to leave your own kingdom. It's fully a so one seems to care. Cause to them it seems like there's nobody there. Just great. So nobody knows we're in here. And how come we don't know what's going on out there? Well, I don't think that the patient can see or hear anything. At least not yet. How do you know so much about all this, doctor? Think about it, officer. I'm an invention of the patient created to help explain the medical terms to you. I'm a trustworthy and authoritative figure sent here to help you gentlemen make sense of it all. Hmm. Well, that German accent surely makes you sound authoritative. Hey, there's no need to mock his accent. So are you saying that any of us could be the actual identity of the patient? Yeah, identity, personality, soul, whatever you want to call it, one of us is it. Well, uh, I hope it's me. What's that? It's obvious. The patient will love being me. He'll love being a classy stud like me. <laughs> I mean, no offense to you guys. <laughs> None taken. <laughs> I made your favorite for dinner, honey. Matzo ball soup and roast beef. What? <laughs> oh, bumped into Claire today at the store. She kept asking me about you and your work. I think she's a closet fan. Any whoosies, we're supposed to go to dinner with her and Tommy on Saturday, okay? And who the hell is she, huh? I mean, she can't be one of the identities, right? She's the only woman here. She gives me the creeps. Yeah. yeah. About that, I don't know yet. 
So let me see if I got this right. The patient is basically lost inside his own mind. He doesn't know who he is, and neither do the people out there. Because even if he did know who he is, he can't communicate with them. So to them, he's a John Doe. Over 75, heart rate 65. Shh, quiet, quiet! What is that? I think John Doe is starting to hear again. Oh, whose voices are those? No, it could be anybody. Yes, and one's maybe an architect and the other's a ballet teacher. Really? No, oh, jerk off, it's two nurses. What do you think? I have a clutch. Found out who he is? No, not yet. It's already been two months and we're still waiting for someone to come forward. Well, that's if someone misses him at all. Let's just hope somebody claims him soon, otherwise we'll have to ship him off to county. Do you think he'll wake up, Olga? This one? Hard to tell. Look at his chart. I've seen politicians with more brain activity than this guy. <laughs> right now, we just need for someone to come in and give us some answers or some instructions. At least someone just to give us a name. Well, gotta go. Got a 12.30 Zumba class and Pitbull waits for no one. One, two, three, and down. Hey. What did she mean by instructions? I don't know, but I don't like the sound of it. Two months? We've only been here for a couple of hours. I left my Ferrari parked on avocado. It's gonna cost me a fortune to get it out of there. Why did he say that we've been here for two months? Why did he say two months? Why did he say too much, gentlemen? Don't get too caught up on the concept of time. In here, time takes on a whole new meaning. For example, one minute could be a whole life, and the next, a month, just an instant. The mind likes to play tricks on us. So, does this mean that we're making some progress? Well, progress is hard to define when it comes to the brain, officer. Well, doctor. You guys can talk about progress all you like, but am I the only one here with half a brain? Well, well he, he's got about a quarter brain. If the patient can't communicate with the outside world, how are the nurses going to realize that he's conscious? Well, can't they do more tests? More t you just heard what the nurses said out there. They took a look at the chart and didn't even hint that there was anything going on in here. So, how are they gonna know we're in here? They won't. That's a problem. <laughs> There's the other quarter brain. <laughs> and I, Julie Akachi, take you as my lawfully wedded husband to love and to hold in sickness and in health till death do us part. What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> Who are you? Look, I'm so excited The Bubby Esther made it to her wedding. Look at her. If she could, she would get out of that wheelchair in a second. Seriously, guys, this one's broken. <laughs> that is exactly why I don't get married. She's definitely not one of us, that's for sure. 
I may have a few. Well, you care to explain, doctor? Or am I going to have to hurt you? I believe that the reason why she's the only female in this room acting incoherently is because she's not a figment of the patient's imagination at all. Then what is she? She's a memory. A, a memory? But you just said that the patient has amnesia. So he shouldn't have any memories, right? Yes, but maybe Julie is the only memory he has left. Oh. And from what we can tell, they love each other very much. Well, don't look at me. I'm not even leading. <laughs> How can that be? Perhaps it's a memory so strong, he's not willing to let it go. What the hell is she doing now? It looks like a memory of their wedding reception. Huh. So that's what a memory looks like. This is the first dance as husband. found her. Finally. Well, so where is she? Oh, she's right outside talking to the neurologist. Oh, okay, let me fix this hair. <laughs> oh, the poor thing. She's going to be devastated when she sees him like this. I wish I could be there to steady her. Hi, I'm Julie. I play just what I need Oh, to hi. Her. Yes, I'm Nurse Abby Friedman. Um, here he is. Oh. Nurse Friedman, let's give him some privacy. Abby, let's go. Back, you miserable bitch. Getting what you deserve, I see. So now all I have to do is get in the car I do wish Mark could see you like this, but unfortunately, He's at home unpacking, waiting for me. Did she just say what I think she I believe she just did. Oh, okay. Let's go have some cake. Ah! Ah! Uh, mm. on. Go on without me, honey. I'll be right there. Oh, oh, what a bitch! I've dated lots of girls like that.
Writer? Yeah. Oh my god, I'm a huge fan of his book, The Manacle and the Key. Oh my, you must have been worried That's sick really when you found sweet. out that he was just oh, in the. Abby. Whatever. whatever. Um, I really don't have time for small talk. So, who do I speak to about this Um, You just got here, Mrs. Levinson. I'm sure that's oh, not exactly. Mrs. Akachi. Aren't you his wife? I'm sorry. How long have you known each other? I never changed my name. Is that okay for you, sweetie? Okay, um, Miss Akachi, I know it's none of my business, but if, if you discontinue his life support, he's not going to make it. Give him a little more time, I'm sure he's going to wake up soon. Um, because I asked for your opinion? I'm sorry, I... I was out of line. Yes, you were. The hospital administrator left for the weekend, and he won't be back until Monday, so you'll have to wait until then to go over the paperwork or whatever. In that case, I guess we have to wait for the wedding. Why do you know John Doe? You're actually David Levinson. Oh my God, I didn't picture you as a, a writer. You don't even look like a David. We don't feel like a David. What a simple and unbecoming name. <laughs> no class at all. I'd say more of a Carl. <laughs> you don't even look Jewish. We're Jewish? Oi, hey, that'll do fundus for my street friend. Carl, that's ridiculous. We couldn't be a Carl. Right? How do you know? We don't even know what the patient looks like. I don't know. Could any of us be a Carl? He couldn't be a Carl. Shut up. What's your name, anyway? The UK. You look like a Justin. Shut up, all of you. Nah, more like a Dustin. 
certainly doesn't want to do it. Why, why don't you tell us your name? Glenn, okay? You happy now? Glenn Sicone? Yeah, from the Sicone family? Glenn. Yeah, but everybody calls me Psycho. You know, I don't mean to be nosy, David, but your wife seems just a little odd to me. She's a detective. I mean, I know she must be going through a lot, but why would she want to pull the plug on you, huh? Because she's freaking nuts. Maybe she's mad at you about something. Have you been a bad boy, David? She's the one sleeping with Mark, whoever the hell that is, and she wants us dead. You need to stop her. Look, I know the doctors don't have a lot of faith in you, but I've, I've read about cases where patients wake up from this kind of thing even after many years, and you know what? Maybe you could be one of those. You could be one of those. Listen, between you and me, I really recommend you wake up soon. Do you hear that, guys? That's a great idea. I mean, why didn't we think of it? How about on the count of three, let's all just wake up. One, two, three. It didn't work. Any more bright ideas, nurse? Enough. Well, I'll come check on you later, David. Don't go anywhere. Oh, she's a hoop. She can do stand-up at the comedy store. Hey, give her a break, psycho. She's the only one on our side. She's not much help. She's doing her best. And she does give a great sponge bath. So what do you think, Doc? We don't have much time before that woman comes back with our death warrant. You're right, we don't. So what are we looking at here? I think David's improving. Right. At least we know he can think because, well, otherwise, what would we be doing here? But what's preventing him from waking up? I think we are. Well, I'm not doing anything. Why is that? What do you mean we're preventing him from waking up? Well, think about it. We already know that David is a writer, and none of us is a writer. So that means we are not trying to find out which one of us is the real David. I don't get it. Maybe we're all characters in one of his books. Interesting theory. I mean, a cop, a doctor, a lawyer, a criminal, and a... a I know, the victim. <coughs> the innocent bystander who gets killed in the crossfire. Oh, I didn't mean it like it's okay. that. It's okay. You didn't have to. I know what I am. I'm Avery Joe, and I'm your average Joe. I guess like my name, I'm really no one you know. I'm pushed around a lot, but I just go with the flow. I'm just your average Joe. I'm Avery Joe, when people step on my toes. They say get up, I'm up, they say get down, I ask how low. I'm just trying to stay alive, but I don't have much control. I'm just Sunshine. So that's it then. We're all characters in one of his books. I don't know. It, it doesn't add up. It's, it's too simple. I like simple. No, I, I mean the characters are too simple, too stereotypical. Besides, if we were in a story, what would Julie be doing here? No, 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 no. I believe that David is having an identity crisis. <laughs> like a midlife crisis? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Maybe David no longer wants to be a writer anymore and has split his mind into many diametrically opposed pieces. So maybe David was just a freaking whack job to begin with. You ever think about that, doctor? 
I'm telling you, she wants him gone. I'm sure she doesn't want him to continue suffering. Suffering? Look at him. Well, he does look very peaceful. I'm telling you, there is something fishy going on here. She conveniently goes out of town right before he goes into a coma, and she didn't even change her last name. Well, that doesn't mean anything. Lots of women keep their maiden names. Or maybe she's just evil. Either way, she's not giving him a fighting chance. Maybe if she asks nicely, he'll wake up. It's not! <laughs> <laughs> it is not funny, Olga. She came back this morning to talk to the administrator, but fortunately there were legal issues or something that they had to take care of before unplugging him. There is something weird going on here, and I am going to find out. Abby, listen to me very carefully. Do not get involved in this. They told me Mrs. Akachi knows people on the board of the hospital, and she can get you fired like that. Plus, she signed a DNR order by proxy, which means... I know what it means. Okay, so then do your job and don't get so attached to the patient. You mean to Mr. Levinson? To the patient! The writer! The patient! What's a DNR? It's a do not resuscitate form, which means that if the patient flatlines, the staff is not supposed to revive him. David signed that? No, his wife did by proxy. She can do that? Yes. Especially if she is his designated agent to make healthcare decisions based on his behalf. Very basic legal stuff. Including organ donation and discontinuing life support. <gasps> Isn't that like killing him? Yes, that's exactly like killing him. Oh, what do you know about killing? What do you know about killing? Killing is my middle name. <laughs> What's your first name? Cliché? <laughs> hey, Archibald, you want a piece of me, huh? Come on, let's do this thing. I'll introduce you to my two friends, Ow and Ouch. I don't think he got your remark about cliches. What, you two pig? <laughs> She's not crazy. Maybe back when that incident occurred, she was. But technically, right now, she's not. Hmm. Well, technically, right now, doctor, you're on my shit list. 
Good morning, David. Sleep well? How was your night? <laughs> Time to wake up now. Come on, wake you, wake you. Come on. Come on. Oh, well, you can't blame me for trying, can you? And I'm going to keep trying every single day until you wake up just to make me shut up. <laughs> oh, did I tell you that Nurse Olga? You remember her, right? She's very kind and loving in a weird, fascist kind of way. Anyway, she was telling me she overheard your wife talking on the phone with a lawyer. Now, why would she want to get a lawyer involved, huh? They're all little jerks, and I should know. My ex-husband hired a real winner during our divorce, and somehow I got stuck having to pay him alimony plus my own legal fees. Can you believe it? patients I work on like this. God, with you, it's different. I feel like I know you, David. <laughs> Maybe in another life, you and I could have gone out on a date or whatever. <laughs> then again, you probably get that all the time from your legion of fans. Look at you, talented. <laughs> your wife doesn't deserve you. She better not be trying to screw you over with that stupid lawyer. Oh, I hate them all. Well, she really hates lawyers. Yeah. Well, just let me have one hour alone with her, and I'll change her mind. Give her some of the old famous Thornton love gun. Oh my God. She'll be pleading the fifth in no time. Classy. Real classy. No wonder she hates your kind. <laughs> well, there are lawyers, and then there are lawyers. <laughs> if you must know, I don't even do divorce law. Those guys are bottom feeders. Even I hate them. Well, what kind of law do you do? Criminal defense. <laughs> 
What? I can't hear ya. Criminal defense. Ho oh, ho, hello, counselor. You and I are gonna be BFFs. <laughs> hey, hey, watch the suit. <laughs> watch the suit. BA successful. Unsturdy animal. Well, he's the guy that I'm gonna call. When I get busted, broken king, I get the feeling the shit's gonna hit the fan. <laughs> From parking tickets to heinous crimes, you'll represent me and I won't have to do it in time. I'll claim you're crazy. I'll use common sense And you'll convince any jury it was in self-defense I make a lot of money helping folks like you And people know my name from here to Timbuktu like shit. Why would I be kidding? We've been like this for two months. Well, it's nice of the staff to at least keep him clean shape. Yeah, this is wonderful. Let's keep our hands off of him. I think she likes Ah, sick. So tell me again, why am I here? Oh, seriously, Mark. Look, don't get me wrong. I mean, I love David. He's one of my favorite clients. He's your only client. He's my only client, but still. It's not like he can hear us or anything. Can he? No, of course not. Look at him. He's a vegetable. But it's nice for the agent to show some respect. You know I never liked the guy. No matter how much money his new book is going to make us, he's still a jerk. Maybe a jerk, but he's one of the huge. Yeah, when he was alive. Well, you know what I mean, when he was awake. Well, back then, barely anybody knew about him. But now, now that he's going to die, well, people just can't get enough of him. Oh, can you believe it? 30 million in the Facebook feed. The guy can't breathe on his own, but he's beating Justin Believer. People love tragedies. Dragon tattoos. Big Larson. Exactly. When he died, sales went through the roof. You think that guy was poisoned, too? Thank God for Wikipedia. This stuff is much better. It gives us plenty of time to get our affairs in order. Those skinny bastards! They are good. So, by the way, Yes. All the documents show that I am his exclusive agent, and you, you are the sole beneficiary of his intellectual property. Do we feel bad about this? Don't, Mark. We already talked about it. That may be true. I just don't want to get caught. So in the end, you get his life's work. Oh God, they're gonna kill us! 
I hope she has a good lawyer. What for? They're never going to find out about this. Why not? By putting us in this state, they've made sure that when they do the autopsy, no one will find any trace elements of whatever they used to kill us. It's the perfect crime. They're freaking geniuses. What? I, I know. Yeah, I know. If, if he dies, then we all die too, but... Oh, come on, you gotta appreciate the beauty of the plan. <laughs> oh, yeah, beautiful plan. There's no such thing as a perfect crime. So, what do we do? Doctor, you've been awfully quiet. Any thoughts? Of course, of course, there's something we can do. We should try to wake him up. Now, how do we do that? What? We could try screaming. Oh, don't be stupid, you moron. <laughs> What the hell? There's a mouse in the kitchen, honey. Get it out of here. Get it out of here. It ran under the fridge just now. Kill it, David. You're the man around here. Get it out of here. We got to get what, you out of here. Why is there a what was that? mouse? What, I'm a what you just person. said? I don't know. We got to get you out of here. Day. Wow. Exactly. What? Just I said exactly. Up. Shut, Shut up. up. Damn, she's loud. <laughs> You're too loud, woman. You were saying, officer. I believe that if we get... Julie out of David's head, he might actually wake up. Why do you think that? I, I think that what's preventing David from waking up is the fact that he's still totally in love with his wife. How could you be in love with that sociopath? No, hey, hey, there's no need to insult sociopath. He's not in love with the Julie that's trying to kill us. He's in love with this version of her, right, Doc? Right, with a beautiful woman who worshipped the ground that he walked on, who supported him while he was a struggling writer trying to make a living. And because she's the only memory he has left, he doesn't want to wake up and lose that. He doesn't want to lose the only beautiful memory left in his life. Well, he's going to lose a lot more than that if he doesn't wake up soon. So what do we do? We need to reset his brain, like a computer. And for that, we must get rid of this Julie. So do we just vote her off the brain? Or? Huh? I, I don't think it's going to be that simple. I guess what the doctor is trying to say We have to kill her. Oh, now I'm your go-to guy. You are the most qualified, aren't you? Right, because my middle name is... Killing. <laughs> we know. So you ready? I, I would be, but I don't have my stuff with me. You know, I need my tools. Like, you know, like these tools. I gotta, not that, not, my tools. Like, I need my tools. You know, my tools. My tools. You know, my tools. You've never actually killed anyone before, have you? No, I haven't. Well, that's just great. How about you, officer? Are you insane? Killing an innocent civilian goes against everything that I am. That's against the law, and I am the law. I'm not going to shoot a poor defenseless woman. <laughs> that's not a real gun, is it? Nope. Plastic. Made in China, huh? <laughs> Doctor? What? Oh, uh, actually, I have a very weak stomach. To tell you the truth, I fainted at the sight of blood. Now what? I'll do it. What? I said I'll do it. I'm tired of being such a freaking loser all the time. Someone's got to step up. This is it. Wait, are you going to choke her just like that? Well, yeah, it just seems like the easiest way, doesn't it? I guess so. See, it's not like she's alive. It's not like I'm killing a real person. So, Doc, think this will work? Sure! What could possibly go wrong? Time to go, time to leave my head. Time to let me look on the road ahead. Time for me to call your bluff. Cause what we got going on is not enough. It's time to let me let go. Time to let me let go. We had our ups and we had our downs. We used to have smiles, but now it's only frowns. All you've done, you've caused me pain. Now it's time.
What the hell just happened? I think we just, what's the medical term? Got bitch slapped by 200 jewels. Let's never do that again. So, so did we just come back from the dead? I think we did. Hey guys, notice something? What? Julie's gone, her body was right here. So yeah, you're right. Means? What do you think that means, doctor? Well, I think that it means that when you kill the memory of Julie, that it actually overwhelmed David's brain with so much grief and guilt from having to let her go, that it actually caused David's brain heart to stop. <laughs> Talk about your epic fail of a plan. So you know what this means, right? What? David's last memory is now completely gone. His mind is a blank slate. <sighs> yeah, blank and totally useless. Why do you say that? Don't you haven't noticed? David, David did not wake up. He's still freaking unconscious. Oh, what was that? What's that light? Oh, God, this is it, the tunnel of light. No, 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 I think David's waking up. Yes, 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 he's opening his eyes. 
No, 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 don't go back to sleep. Come on, wake yeah, up, Jenny. Call Nurse Abby. Nurse, Nurse Abby. Abby. Can you believe these idiots actually think that the nurse Good is going to come? Good morning, David. <laughs> sleep well. It's time for you to wake up now. Come on, wake <gasps> ah! Oh, my God. Hi. 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 You're awake. Um, Olga? Olga, he's awake. What's the he's hurry? awake. What's I came the in the room what? and his eyes are open. Can you believe me? He's awake. No. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's very nice, honey. Um, keep checking his vitals every okay. 30 minutes and make sure his drip is, you know, <laughs> dripping. Oh, come on, aren't you excited? He's awake. Yeah! I'll be right back. Who surgically removed her soul? I still think that nurse Olga could be a little bit more welcoming, don't you? I'll be right back. Some of these older nurses have seen it all. They don't get as excited as the younger ones. Oh, I like this younger one. Me too. Oh. Did you get a good look at her? Oh, yes. <laughs> and I can do a lot of legal maneuvers with that body, if you know what I mean. And I have a feeling she likes us too. Us? You know what I mean. Good morning, oh. Mr. Levinson. Oh. So I see you decided to join us. You're now in the hospital. You were in a coma, and you've been out for the past two months. I've already explained that to them, nurse. And there's no need to shout. We're locked in, not deaf or foreign. You must be feeling very disoriented right now. Actually, we've been awake this whole time listening to you talk about Zumba. Don't try to talk right now. Well, well how about singing? Is, is singing alone? I got a pocket, got a pocket full of sunshine, oh. and I got a love. I know it's all Just try to follow my finger with oh. your eyes. That a boy. Okay. Okay. All right, Mr. Levinson. I'm going to let you rest now and go talk to the neurologist. Uh, if you're feeling better tomorrow, we'll get started on your physical therapy. <laughs> Nurse Abby will continue to take care of you, okay? You're going to be just fine. <laughs> Hallelujah, that nurse Abby just saved our sorry asses. You can always count on that zappy machine to do the job. I just knew it. Okay, listen, I know you can't talk right now, but how about blinking? Can you blink? Blink, David! Okay, was that a yes? Blink again! Okay, maybe that was a no. Was that a no, David? Again! Oh, you're not making this very easy, Mr. Levinson. <laughs> is it just me or is she a few beans short of a good chili? It's oh, just you, I know. psycho. How about we come up with a system to communicate, okay? Blink once for yes and twice for no, okay? Do you mind if I take this one? Be my guest. Blink! Oh, was that a yes? Uh -huh. Yes, for the love. That okay. was a yes. This is not final jeopardy. Great. We're communicating. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Yeah. Do you remember what's your name? Do you remember who you are? I'm here to help, so let me. All you have to do is blink. Do you feel happy or alive? Trying to take a dive Cause I am Trying to pull 
so thrilled to be awake. And we are trying not to break. David, I think we've had enough fun for one day. Do you agree? Yeah. No. Oh, was that a wink? <laughs> well, aren't you being a little devil? <laughs> oh my God, you just shook your head. We did. Wow. Now you're smiling. Good job, David. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, do you mind if I call you David? <laughs> we don't mind. Blink twice. Blink twice, David. Great. Ah, oh, awesome. Well, I'm gonna let you you rest. Okay. You you made a lot of really good prog progress, and tomorrow you're gonna do even better. Good night. <gasps> Did you see that? She kissed me. What are you talking about? That kiss was meant for me. <sighs> like she's going to kiss a deranged psychopath like you. And on the first date? Of course. It makes perfect sense. How do you figure? You're not even Jewish. Think about it, man. She, she knows David's married. She's even met his wife. Yet she's betting he'll cheat on her. This is something I would do. <laughs> you're way out of your league, psycho. Let's just say you're right, just for argument's sake. Don't you think she'd want someone more successful, <laughs> like me? A lawyer? She hates you just on principle. I think, being a nurse, she likes to nurture poor defenseless Joes, like yours truly. <laughs> Ain't no offense, buddy, but you're all foam and no beer. <laughs> yeah, well, you're all missile and no warhead. <laughs> you know what? I'm actually going to take that as a compliment. Guys, guys! What? You sound like a bunch of morons. It was just a tiny peck on the forehead. Don't read too much into it. You're just jealous. Yeah. Think all you want. All I'm saying is, don't get your hopes up too high. We've all seen what women are capable of. Aren't you a Debbie Downer officer? I'm just going to sit here and enjoy the warm, moist feeling of her soft lips on my forehead. You just do that, psycho. I'm going to get some sleep, and I suggest you all do the same. I'm with you. Yeah, that sounds like a decent idea. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night, <clears throat> Good night officer. Good night, Joe. Good night, doctor. Good night, Joe. Good night, psycho. Shut your traps! <sighs> Good night, psycho. <laughs> Help me, God, I'll kill you all in your <laughs> sleep. Good night, psycho. <laughs> That's it. They're all on my shit list. <laughs> Every single one of you shit listed. <laughs> Miss Thornton, you still awake? Yeah. What is it? I like Abby. She's cute. Yes. <laughs> she is. Good night. Oh, there you are, Bubbler. Your father is looking all over for you. He needs you to help him put away the new shipment. What's that? Is this a... Shh, quiet. Would it hurt you so much to at least think about what he's asking you to do? For 35 years, he's been breaking his back at the store just so you can have a proper education. And this is how you repay him. A writer. Really? You're killing your father, David. You're breaking his heart. Thank God your brother is a cardiologist. Oi, 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 I'm going to die the mother of a starving failure. What have I done to deserve this? His memories are coming back. Well, no wonder he's all messed up. Let's just try to get some sleep. Good morning, David. Sleep well? <sighs> morning already? I hate morning. Of course you do. Are you ready for your therapy? Yeah. Oh, 
Hi. Hi. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Bitch alert. Bitch hey, alert. Hey, hey. Uh, just a second. What happened? I thought he wasn't going to wake up. Oh, yes. Isn't it a miracle? What do you mean? Well, a couple days ago, he went into code blue or cardiac arrest. And so? I was able to revive him, and right after that, he simply woke up. Isn't it amazing? Yeah, wonderful, really. Um, will you excuse me for a minute? I'll just be right back. Yes, take your time. Okay, what was that all about? Did that seem normal to you? Actually, yes. Really? She's always that enthusiastic. You ain't seen nothing yet. Wow. Okay, I want you to escort Nurse Abby out of the hospital. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> what? What did I do? You heard me. I want you to escort her out of the building. She's a threat to the patient's safety. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go see my boss. Hey, you stupid or something? It's a simple task. Just. Take your gorilla paws and pull Nurse Abby away from my husband. What seems to be the problem? She failed to follow specific medical instructions during her care of a patient. Uh, I'm really in no position. She to failed to obey a DNR order. What? <laughs> You're useless. Okay. Uh, a do not resuscitate order. When a patient goes into cardiac arrest, she's not supposed to. Uh, mm. Why do I even bother? I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to come with me. And that Thank way you. we can talk to my boss. Oh, yes. what? Are you kidding me? Okay, I'll get you fired. And you, stay away from my husband. What did you do to her, huh? Was your relationship always like that? We don't remember anything. Actually, it was a great relationship. What? I was madly in love with her. I would have given my life for her. Did you guys fight a lot? I think by the end we were arguing yeah. more. I was working longer hours, and that might have cooled off the relationship a bit. How could you know all that, I, officer? I don't know. I just do. Do you guys have children? We tried to have children for years. But unfortunately, David has a low sperm count. Now, how could you possibly know that, doctor? No clue. I just know. It must be David trying to remember through us. Did you ever cheat on your wife? I think I tried. No. no. I even went as far to go to a couple AA meetings. AA? What for? Well, Joe, the women there are really vulnerable. Oh. <laughs> it's like shooting fish in a barrel. Do you think she cheated on you? Yes! She's been cheating with my agent. Tell her about the poison, David. Yes, tell her she's trying to kill us. You do realize that she can't really hear us, right? Then we got to come up with a better way to communicate. Well, talking would be nice. Maybe a little interpretive dance wouldn't hurt either. Hey, David, try this. And turn, and the bunny hop, bunny hop, eat the poison, eat the poison, and drop. Let's all focus. Yeah. Maybe together, we can try to get him to move his hand. Come, Come on, on, David. Did you just move your hand? <laughs> I can't believe that actually oh, worked. Okay, okay, let's try it again. Very good, David. Yeah! Very good. <laughs> I have an idea. Aim for the pen and paper. Wait, 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 wait. We've been locked in for two months and now you want him to write? Yes. Just one word. Let's just try to have him write one word so that Nurse Abby asks us more questions. He's right. We can't risk being left alone here again. Julie will come back and try to kill us. Are you, are you trying to reach the pen? Yeah! Okay, here you go. We did this. We did it on our own. Oh, yeah. Thank you.
I'm sorry, but you'll have to come with me while they conduct an investigation. An investigation for what? You negligent care of my husband. But I've... Please, come with me. Oh, God, she's really going to kill us. How are you feeling, honey? I missed you. Wait, what? I was so worried when I got home and you had disappeared. They, they told me they found you in your pajamas in the middle of the park. How many times have I told you not to go to the park in your pajamas? I know, you like to write your novels out in the fresh, but now do you see how dangerous that can be? Okay, let's just get you the best care possible so we can get you back to your writing, okay? You let me take care of that incompetent nurse who cannot follow orders. I mean, I'm so grateful you're alive, but if I can't trust her to follow an instruction on a piece of paper, how can we trust you to give you the right medicine? Besides, DNR instructions are there to avoid unnecessary suffering. You understand where I'm coming from. You do the same for me. It's pure principle. Okay, well, I'm gonna go run some errands and you keep resting, okay? I'll get some other nurses to check on you often. Oh, that was gross. Now that's a psycho! I don't get it. Why is she being so nice? Do you think she knows? What? That we know she tried to poison us. I don't think she has a clue, but she's hedging her bets just in case. <laughs> I forgot to tell you, honey. I am so thrilled that you're starting to use your hands again. Mm. Although, you really do need to work on your peas. They look funny to me. Oh, oh shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? I don't know, but let's not panic! Right now, there's not much we can do. So let's just wait it out, and we'll figure something out. Good evening, Mr. Levinson. I need to take your temperature. We have to tell her about the piece of paper. How? I don't know how, but this blinking game is getting us nowhere real slow. So, Doc, any ideas? You're doing great. Any ideas, Doc? We should try to make him talk. Talk? He can barely eat tapioca pudding on his own. There's no way he can talk yet. You're right. I am? Of course. So he can't talk? Well, that's just great. If that's what you think, then you're right. English, doctor! You seem to forget that we are all inside the patient's mind. We are his thoughts. And if we think that he can't do something, then there's really no reason for us, for him to try. Oh, God. The bitch is back. Oh, she's going to finish the job. David, hit her on the head. Do something. Scream. Shh, quiet. It's me. I, I snuck through the back. I had to see if you were doing OK. Tell her about the poison, David. David, it's now or never. Oh, no, no, no. Shh, don't try to talk. Shh. Poison. Poison? Yes, yes, poison. Oh, wait, God damn it. Okay, what poison? Was, was that what you were trying to write? Yes. yes! Okay, did someone try to poison you? Yes! yes! Was it someone I know? Come on, we're not playing 20 questions. Okay, was it your wife? Yes! How do you know? Yes, sir, no questions only, huh, lady? Uh, aware. Did he just say aware? I believe he did. And without our help. Okay, what do you mean aware? You've, you've been awake this whole time? Yes. So you were able to hear everything? What does it mean that he's talking all by himself, Doctor? It means he's getting better. His memories are starting to come back. His whole personality is coming together okay, again. So that means that you heard all of my, my babblings. Oh my god, that's so embarrassing. <laughs> wow, well, um, now you know how I feel. You, me, uh, dinner? <laughs> <laughs> um, let's not get ahead of ourselves, OK? I told you she came in through the back. Oh Arrest her for Christ's sake. Stop. Poison. What? She tried poisoning Mr. Levinson. Don't listen to her. She's delirious. Poison. What are you talking about, honey? You've been in a coma for two months. Yes, months. because you poisoned him, and he was actually fully awake the entire time. Wait, is that even possible? 
Yes, I read somewhere that people can give the impression of being in a deep coma when in reality they are fully aware of their surroundings. It's, it's called locked-in syndrome. Oh, she reads. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Arrest her, you nimrod. You mark affair. Oh, and uh, she's been having an affair. How do you know? Yeah, how do you know? Wait, uh, what? Oh. <laughs> Mr. Wade. Get that woman out of here and call the police for attempted murder. No, no. You have no idea what it's like living with him all these years. He disappears for days with the excuse of writing the next great American novel. What am I supposed to think when I'm supporting that dream every day? I see no result and I'm completely neglected from the relationship. I dress up nice. I keep in shape. I mean, I'm, uh, I'm for trying some pretty kinky stuff. <clears throat> Do you know what it's like to be invisible? I don't exist to him, okay? <coughs> yeah, you. Just ignore me like the last night's leftovers, and I just want you to feel what it's like to be left alone, wasting away. <laughs> As you hear from my lawyer, you'd be lucky if you can be a school nurse. <laughs> wow, that was really something, wasn't it? Yeah. So, think they'll convict her? Well, not right away, but as soon as David can speak more, he'll be able to prove that he was aware the whole time and heard everything. He'll make for a great witness. Well, what's gonna happen to us? Are we all gonna disappear? Disappear? Yeah, you know, once David's true identity wins. Don't go away, because we'll reveal the winner live after the break. You still don't get it, do you? 
It's all very clear now. In the beginning, we were working under the hypothesis that one of us was the actual John Doe. Right, and then you said we were all characters in a book. Actually, I never said that. He did. I always maintained that we were each essential parts of David's personality. How can you be so sure? Because each of us on our own is very unidimensional. Uh, uni to who? Unidimensional. It means that each of us exhibits only a single characteristic of personality. <sighs> I'm really trying to follow you, Doc. And no offense, but you won't be able to follow Joe. Hey, 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 there's no need to insult him. I'm doing nothing of the sort. The reason why Joe won't be able to understand this concept is because Joe is a loser. A simple nitwit. Slow learner David's reptilian brain. Well, it's a good thing you're not trying to insult him. No, no, no. Bear with me. Joe is a loser, and you, Thornton, are a hedonistic jerk who only seeks out pleasure. You want to be rich and famous and popular without thinking of the consequences. Whoa, easy on the sugar there, Doc. He does have a point. Yep. And you, officer, you are the epitome of goody two-shoes. You embody the super ego. You are morality and objective reasoning always by the book. And you haven't a single mean bone in your body. And that makes most people sick to their stomachs. He does have a point. <laughs> now do me! Now do me! You, you <laughs> psycho! Do now I do really need to explain your purpose? No. Yeah. You are pure mischief. <laughs> you seek to wreak havoc no matter the consequences. Your childish anger is fueled by desire to self-destruct. And if left to your own devices, you would have driven David to madness a long time ago. <laughs> you are an animal. Woo! That's what your mama said. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Okay, so what about you? Me? Well, I'm the logical part of the brain. Here to explain those medical terms to you and to keep emotions in check. Bullshit. Excuse me? I said bullshit. I'm no loser. I might not be able to understand all this psychological crap, but I'm no loser. Tell it to David. He's the one who created you. It's not your choice. I know that you might think that I'm a loser. I know that by myself I don't amount to much. Now I see that if we were Yeah. Mm -hmm.